We're less than three months away from the launch of Xbox's next console generation, but we still haven't seen any substantial gameplay running on the Series X. So let's discuss why Xbox players are starting to raise their voices and demand Microsoft show something big. Welcome back to Direct Gaming. Thanks for checking out this video and thank you all for subscribing and clicking that bell as well. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, make sure you leave a like and leave a comment down the bottom of all your thoughts. I know it's been a quiet couple of weeks, recently just got my computer fixed, so I'm back in action. But let's talk about everything leading up to next gen for Xbox Series X. First, Gamescom has come and gone, and opening night live was a bit of a disappointment. There were no big new announcements other than the previously slightly announced Call of Duty, which I'm just not interested in at all. Uh, but Gamescom's weekend full of trailers and interviews was something sorely lacking with E3's cancellation this year. I think I'm going to do a video on this topic another time and kind of look at what we've been missing with our E3 around. But let's get into some of my thoughts on Gamescom and Xbox's showing, or lack thereof. Ratchet & Clank showed PS5 gameplay and it looks pretty impressive. Uh, there's lots of details, lots of particle effects, and they're really boasting this powerful rift mechanic uh, where you're kind of jumping between worlds and between areas on the map really quickly. You know, it looks impressive. It's not a series that I've ever been interested in, but it's one thing that PlayStation have really pushed this gameplay and it's it's something Xbox are really lacking. The only Xbox console exclusive that we did see was 12 minutes, which does look awesome. Little indie game uh, about a time loop where you're stuck in this tiny little apartment. Uh, they're now boasting it, that it stars Daisy Ridley, James McAvoy and Willem Dafoe and it looks pretty cool. But where is the, where is the big stuff from Xbox, right? There's no Series X gameplay being shown except 10 minutes of Haven, which is another indie game. Uh, running on the Series X, but I played the demo for the Xbox One recently uh, and it doesn't look that much different. It's not the most graphically intensive game and it's not the best showing for the Series X. But what is happening with the Series X launch? Now that Halo's been delayed, there are no first party titles launching with the console. Uh, we do have the medium coming out, which does look pretty interesting. They did show some gameplay in an interview with Troy Baker where he's kind of talking over a bunch of gameplay that we haven't seen yet. It's like a fixed camera and it renders two worlds at the same time. I actually thought initially when they spoke about the rendering the two worlds thing that it was going to be something you could switch between, much like Dishonored in a certain mission in Dishonored 2. Uh, but it seems to be literally rendering them both on screen at the same time. I'm not sure how I feel about that either. It just doesn't look as impressive as I once thought it did. Now, it may have a really good story, and it does have that old kind of survival horror, almost point and click style of old Resident Evil or Silent Hill games. But again, this gameplay segment we saw, I can't find any information if it's actually running on Series X. Uh, if anyone knows, um, just let me know in the comments below if you, if you know where the original footage is or if Bloober have posted it somewhere else. All I can see is uh, the Troy Baker interview, which is interesting and it seems like it's gonna have a pretty dark and twisted story, but is it really showing off something that the Xbox One can't do? In the May showcase that we saw from Xbox, we got a uh, look at some apparent launch games, The Ascent, Bright Memory Infinite, Scorn, and Call of the Sea, uh, but we still haven't seen these games shown much more, if at all, and we haven't seen them running on the Series X. We haven't seen games like Exomecha running either or know when any of these games are actually releasing. Both lineups are pretty scarce. For PlayStation, they do have Spider-Man Miles Morales at launch, and the developers at Insomniac have said that Ratchet & Clank is also a launch window title, but we don't know what that means or when it will actually release. So. Both launch lineups are pretty weird for first party games, but why is it that two months out, we really haven't seen anything of value from the Xbox? Now, I'm kind of concerned for the launch of the Series X, but I do still thoroughly believe that the future of Xbox Game Studios looks really, really good. We've got Fable, we've got Hellblade 2, Avowed. Forza Motorsport as well is coming out at some point, but we know that's in early development. I think 
Hellblade 2 is potentially going to release later than we all expected because of difficulties doing motion capture, which is something I've read online. It's a strange lead up to the launch of new consoles when we don't really know any concrete details and with Xbox, we haven't seen that much running on their next gen platform. Interestingly about Halo Infinite, Joseph Stanton, who was an ex-Bungie director of cinematics and has been with Microsoft as a creative director since 2014, uh, has joined the project to try and help steer the ship and get the campaign on track for release in 2021. 343 have squashed some rumors online saying Infinite will be a Series X exclusive and then they'll go back on what they originally said about the game releasing on the, the Xbox Series X, the Xbox One and on PC, which I think is really good that they've come and done this. There's so many rumors and everything online that it's good to see the developers come out and just say, no, this is false. Uh, the game is still releasing in 2021. There's an article on Halo Waypoint literally saying, quote, over the past two weeks, we've seen the internet fabricate numerous stories and fake leaks that have made people, including me, scratch their heads. From rumors of dropping support for the Xbox One to releasing the game in 2022, there seem to be new headlines popping up every day. As we get closer to sharing more and more news, please only trust statements that are made by official Halo channels members of our studio leadership or members of the community team. So I think it's good that they've come out and said this. We know the game is coming. I wasn't as disappointed with it showing as a lot of other people were after we saw it at the Xbox Games Showcase. I think giving it that extra time, that extra polish, these studios may be working from home up until launch. They also, you know, they could go back into the studio at some point, depending on how the kind of pandemic goes. Uh, so it's, it'll be interesting to see what they show, when they next show it, if they're going to show multiplayer anytime soon, if they're going to start flighting for uh, multiplayer betas and everything like that with, with the public or with in Xbox insiders as well. So it will be interesting. But now we wait. With less than three months to go, Microsoft really needs to pick up the pace. An August event clearly never materialized. It's now September. And so this is now the next opportunity. We still don't have prices. We still don't have launch date. Will there be a delay? We saw a delay with Halo, but they're still pushing holiday 2020 launch date or November 2020 launch date. Why aren't they showing it off? Devs clearly have the console. There's games coming out from third parties all throughout the launch window. Indies, AA studios and AAA devs need to show off the Series X. Xbox need to get, you know, people like Ubisoft to show off Assassin's Creed Valhalla running on it, even Watch Dogs Legion, which does launch uh, a little bit before the launch of the consoles. Uh, people are thinking maybe November 6th, people are thinking maybe November 13th, even Yakuza Like a Dragon, they need to show these games running on the console. It would be great if Microsoft could show off and reveal something really exciting. If they came out and said in September, Forza Horizon 5 set in Japan uh, is coming at the launch, I really highly doubt it will happen, but hey, we can we can speculate and we can hope, but I just I don't see don't see anything concrete being announced anytime soon. Hopefully Phil Spencer and Matt Booty and the teams at Xbox uh, see the fans outcry and see people making content and see people on Twitter asking for gameplay and hopefully they have something to show in September. Until then, what do you think about the launch of the Series X? Are you still planning on getting one at launch? Are you waiting until more games come out? I try to be a pretty positive voice, but you know, we need to see more. I'm definitely going to be buying the Series X when it launches. It's just something I really want to get my hands on and I want to play, you know, Cyberpunk on the Series X. I want to play Chorus next year when it comes out, which looks incredible, by the way. You know, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and let me know what you thought of this kind of video. I'm back now, my computer is fixed. I'll be dropping videos on Tuesdays and Fridays and we'll be back with Controllers and Coffee next week uh, for episode 10 on Wednesday as well. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this video, like the video, subscribe to Direct Gaming, uh, hit notifications so you know exactly when I post a video and follow me over on Twitter Facebook, Instagram, everything at Direct Gaming. Until next time, peace.